Or Dana Kozlov live in Milwaukee with the latest on the Republican National Convention. Dana, we already had our crews set up and you as a team of reporters there, uh, but now so many eyes here on the RNC. Yeah, definitely. The tone's very different. Day one of the Republican National Convention has a different feel after the attempt on former President Donald Trump's life Saturday. Now, the former president will wake up in Milwaukee today after arriving here in the city last night. He walked off his plane at one point, raising his fist in the air. It was a similar gesture to the one he made moments after being grazed in the ear during that assassination attempt at a campaign rally in Pennsylvania. Now, Trump is expected to make an appearance at the convention today, which is unusual. Normally, that doesn't happen until at least day three of the convention. It's also possible he'll announce his pick for vice president, but it's not clear if that person will appear with Trump tonight, if indeed he does make that appearance. Now, we are live inside the Pfizer Forum, and security is always tight for an event like this. Remember, there is a hard perimeter that stretches at least one block in every direction around the three buildings being used for the convention. Only delegates, members of the media, workers, and volunteers with credentials are allowed inside here, and all must pass through metal detectors. Anyone driving through the soft perimeter must have their vehicles swept as well. The convention comes less than two days, as we mentioned, after a gunman tried to kill former President Donald Trump at a Pennsylvania campaign rally. And now federal investigators are trying to figure out what motivated the would-be assassin. President Joe Biden ordered an independent review of rally security to determine what went wrong. During an Oval Office address, the president urged Americans to reject politically motivated violence. We can't allow this violence to be normalized. You know, the political record in this country has gotten very heated. It's time to cool it down. President Biden also directed the head of the Secret Service to review all security plans for the four-day Republican National Convention here in Milwaukee. Day one of the convention is usually very festive. The overall theme of the convention is make America great once again. There's a new theme every day. Each day plays off of that theme with today focusing on economics. Today's theme is make America wealthy again. There's nothing official, but former President Trump is expected, as I mentioned, to make an appearance later today that's not been confirmed. We'll have live coverage, live team coverage all morning long from the RNC. Sabrina Franza joins me now. And Sabrina, you were actually here in Milwaukee. We, Sabrina is coming up here in just a bit. Sorry about that. We're having a few technical difficulties. But going back to what I wanted to, to mention and what I did mention at the top, the tone is very different. Normally, the RNC is a, more of a dog and pony show these days, but now I think we're going to have a lot of different types of conversations leading up to Thursday night. Let's go back now to Sabrina Franza. She is going to have more on the security and safety and other issues here that are very pertinent to the RNC and how it plays out over the next several days. Sabrina. Hi, Dana. Yeah, well, here at the RNC, especially in the Pfizer Forum, this is part of what they're calling the hard security perimeter. That's part of a plan that had been laid out a few months ago and a plan that the Secret Service was working on for the last 18 months, they say, that hard security perimeter of all the convention spaces with an even softer security perimeter, they say, around those locations. It takes about a half hour to get through all of those security checkpoints to get from point A to point B where we're standing here right now. It'll be particularly interesting when we see protesters start to come and we know some protesters are coming from Chicago as well that will be both at the RNC and the DNC to protest the convention here this week and to see how close they can actually get in that soft perimeter to the barriers of the hard perimeter. There is fencing, there are barriers everywhere and today we are expecting that official nomination from some 2400 delegates officially putting their votes behind the former president to become the nominee of the Republican Party for a third time. When the Secret Service was pressed if anything would change after the shooting, take a listen to what some of they had to say. We have accounted for various security scenarios that may arise, and we are confident in the plan we have implemented. And Dana, as I mentioned, the nominees will be decided over the next few weeks. The Republican nominee, of course, 
in the next few days, few hours, possibly. We're expecting the former president to accept the nomination as soon as Thursday. And then, of course, the DNC happens in Chicago a few weeks later. But it definitely, as you mentioned, a very, very different tone than what we were expecting. That celebration that we were uh, anticipating to happen here in Milwaukee has a totally different energy because of what happened this weekend.